we are decorating for Christmas. We are opening up our new Christmas tree. Joel. Can't believe you let me talk into a flock tree. This thing will be dirty. Yeah, it's a little messy, but we'll vacuum it up. Huh, only man? We'll vacuum it up. And then I also have my sister here. What's up? Yeah. What's up? And then I am nursing little Riley right now. So she's nursing and we are going to start decorating for Christmas. And then this way I can figure out if I need to go get more decorations for the inside. No, you do not. I do. I do. I think I do. I hope I don't, but I think I do. If you go to that place, let me know. Oh, let's go. I really want to go. Let's go. Place we'll make a trip. We'll put Riley in the car. Oh. Me and you will go. Let's place go. That I you wanna go. Yeah. What do you, when do you want to go? I'm okay with going whenever. Shit. Like Friday's a bad day. Yeah, Friday's probably not Friday's, the best day. Friday's Black Friday. Yeah. That might be a day you want to stay home. Saturday? I can go. Is it Saturday? You want to go, Joel? No. We'll take the baby. I told you, the next time you go there, you need to take your grandma and your mom. Oh. They would love that. Let's tell, let's tell mom. I'll take, okay. I'm going to take Pat, too. Well, it's all my one see, her husband's school. going. Well, yeah, her I'm husband dragging been there. him. <laughs> I'm forcing you him do to realize go. that if I go and you don't go, how badly that's going to turn out, right? What do you mean? Hmm? What do you mean? There's no one to control me. Oh. <laughs> Crazy. I also look a little crazy right now because I filmed and ripped off my lashes. So yeah, I know. I found them. I thought they were freaking spider. And I like. Yeah. Them. <laughs> I like We've been getting a lot of spiders in our house. No. <laughs> like I, I would think there are caterpillars over being you guys spiders. Have a best control service. Yeah, they just, Lloyd's just came, but I might need to have them spray inside because this is the second big spider I saw. Every other one they should do inside. I was supposed to do it this time, but You Riley, weren't here. No, I told him not to do it because Riley's new. Oh. I don't want him to spray pesticides with a one month in year old here. Yeah. The next one, in January, they will be spraying in here and you guys will take a vacation for the day. You do every other spray inside? We'll go, yeah. we'll go to my parents. Yeah. I do it once a quarter and every other one wow. I only do it inside if we see anything, so we don't get any bugs. Just, I mean, nursing away. That's the goal, is you never see them. But yeah. I just don't we get laugh. the, what do you get? We get pincher bugs and silverfish. No, I think I've gotten maybe one of those, but no. We get a, a, we were getting the, we were getting some ants. Oh, last, I've never like, gotten two ants. Years ago, yeah, and that's when we sprayed inside, and then they got them. They I remember you got ants room. like when you first moved in. They were in the laundry room. Yeah. yeah. But since then, like mm -hmm. now, it's just kind of like the rare spider. Mm hmm So I wanted Pat. I want Pat to kill it. Oh, killed it. So sad. I wanted to put it outside. Oh. What I really love about our tree is that it has. It's a flock tree because I really wanted a flock tree, and I think it'll look beautiful in this room because of how light everything is. And then it also has acorns in it, and it looks like it has a little bit of glitter. Yeah, that's a glittery acorn. Like, match it. You're. It's all glitter in here. Looks like it has got a little bit of glitter. We'll definitely just have to. Luckily, the cleaners come tomorrow, so. Yeah, that's the goal. But we'll just vacuum before. Like, we'll vacuum when we Do get done with everything. Okay. Yeah, I have a tree skirt. I'm going to, like, look at everything and see how I like it. And if I, like, wanted to switch anything up or get something new and update things, then I'm going to do that. We might make a, a little walk over to Target. No. Oh, Riley. I'm trying to do walks, and then it, Target and Sprouts are very close to us, so I can easily walk to Target and see what they have. I also have little Elsa here. Elsa! That we're gonna. Oh, he's doing the second piece now. All done. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> she's beauty and she's grace. She's, She's Miss United, United States. Is that, is that Miss United States? Is that? It's Miss oh. United. I think so. I think so. Hey, Ollie man. Oh, Hi, little man. Hey, cutie patootie. Sorry, I had my laptop there. Alrighty. I'm going to check in a little bit. Oh, be careful, little man. I'm going to check in a little bit later after we get going. All right, so we have Riley in her little mama room. 
sucking on her passy. And she's actually kind of in pain right now because her tummy is bothering her because she's so gassy and she hasn't pooped all day yet. She's done little poops, but nothing big. So we are expecting a big one here very, very soon. But Joel got the Christmas tree all set up and then we also got all of our decorations out. So these are the new ones that we got right here. So we're gonna look at those. And then, oh, I forgot about those. I use those for a DIY, like for four Christmases ago before we even owned the house. But yeah, time to decorate. Let's see how we're gonna put this thing together. So right here is what we got from the Christmas tree store. So I think I'm actually gonna go back with my sister and my mom this weekend. But these are the pieces that we got that you stick into the tree. We also got this really cute owl that Joel wanted. <laughs> so we got the owl, little birdies to put in there. And then these are really beautiful that we got. So these are gorgeous ornaments that will actually go really well with those ornaments that I already have. So these are really pretty. And then we got these little things that you plug into the lights and it makes these spin in a circle, which is really cool. So we're gonna do that. Little Rai Rai is awake. Hey, little one, just think. And oh yeah, you're gonna do your mean face right now. Are you hungry <laughs> again? <laughs> are you hungry? Mm. Yeah, but think you're gonna be able to help us here pretty soon. Oh yeah, you're hungry. You're rooting and you're, you are licking a lot. Yes, you want food. I'm gonna nurse you again. Hey Elsa, <gasps> my cutie pie. All right, I need to feed you before you start crying. All right, smell your poop. We smell your poop. Okay, get the diaper, get the wipes. Finally, we get a poop from you today. You probably feel a lot better after it. Yeah, you probably feel a lot better after it. Okay, not the biggest fan of them because they don't have the netting like the Pampers or the Huggies and she just kind of like sits in it. Like the Pampers and the Huggies, those have a netting where the poop kind of drops down and it's not really sitting much against their skin. But the Honest, they are sitting against their skin and I'm just not a fan of that. And it just kind of swishes and swashes like all over the place inside. So I, we got them for my sister when they did the diaper raffle at my, um, at my baby shower, but I have to say I probably will not repurchase Honest. Our favorites are definitely the Pampers. The Pampers dry ones are awesome. Those ones, like, oh, you'll, I swear, it's like I would be surprised if you ever get a leakage from that thing. And then the Pampers Pure is also amazing too. It's really good for sensitive skin babies. Um, Huggies is okay, but I can tell that her bottom, I don't think they really like Huggies very much. I think she's more of a Pampers girl. Is that right? More of a Pampers. And you like to kick. You like to kick. Let me get this diaper on you. And then you can keep kicking, okay? There we go. And then she's officially out of her newborn clothes. Cause you're so long. You are so long. Yes. You are taller than most babies are like in your size. Like babies are double your size and weight and you are taller than them. You're one tall baby. So I've been reading a lot about Dr. Sears and he has like little categories for babies and there's like the apple baby. He calls it the apple baby, the pear baby and the banana baby. And she's a banana baby where her height is faster than her weight. So they're usually taller, like the top percentile in height. She's like 90 percentile, 90, yeah, the 90 percentile. And then weight, they're always at the low end for the weight. And she's like the 30 percentile for weight. So that's what she is. She's a, and they like they they have like a little bit more faster metabolism and they just grow faster in height. So that is what you are. You are a banana. You are a banana. You're my tall little girl, huh? You're my tall little girl. Hi, little one. You ready to decorate? Do you want me to put you in the carrier and we'll decorate? Yeah? Yeah? My cutie pie. Look at how adorable. I wish you guys can tell how blue her eyes are. They look so dark on camera when I take pictures and record, but they're really actually blue. I'm hoping to catch them in the daylight and then maybe it will come off on camera, but they're like a bluish gray. They're my color eyes, but a little bit darker. 
and they seem like they're getting lighter each day. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's put you in the carrier real quick. All right, so I have little Riley in the Boppy Comfy Fit carrier. Yeah, I finally got you to calm down too. <laughs> so she's in here. She has her little pacifier in there too. Yep, and now we're gonna decorate. We should name the owl Hedwig. I have to know what that means. I know it's from probably some Harry Potter thing. <laughs> it is, it's Harry Potter's owl and it was a white owl, so Hedwig is perfect. Nope. She's like, nope, I'm okay. not being friends with Hedwig. Hey guys, so I want to show you some of the ornaments my mom got us. So each year she gets us Hallmark ornaments and we usually do a fun, we kind of switch off. Every other year we do a fun tree and then we'll do a fancy tree. This year is a fancy tree, which I will show you guys what it looks like afterwards. But my mom like stocked us up on a ton of ornaments from Hallmark and I'm so sad because I really want to use them. She's like, you guys need to get like a second tree that can be like your fun tree. But we just have no place to put it in our house, which kind of sucks. But I want to show you guys what she got us. So first off, we're going to put this one in the tree because it kind of goes with our theme with the white. But I'm going to go put the ultrasound picture of Riley in here. And it says, tiny little miracle in the making. And it's so cute. So we're going to put that one in there. This is it. The little Hallmark keepsake. She also got us this um, Mickey and the Roadster races. She always gets racing ones for Joel. And then she got this one for Riley. And this one... If we focus, this one is Baby Girl's First Christmas. And then this one is the Starry Eyed Over You, which is so cute. Oh, I love it. And then right here is the Disney Mary Poppins, which almost looks like it's Precious Moments, which are so cute. I love that one. And then these cute little snowman, salt and pepper snowmans. And then she always gets me frozen. That's what my thing is. So she got me Elsa. And then this one was for Joel, and this is the Lightning McQueen and Cruz Ramirez. If you guys know me, I love My Little Pony, and Firefly is my absolute favorite pony ever. She's from the very first movie. I love it. Yes, I was so excited to see that one. I really want to just put her in the tree and just like hide her somewhere and be like, find Firefly. And then last but not least, she got me the Queen Elsa of Arendelle right here. This one's awesome. So she always stocks us up, so we'll have to put those back in the bins. All of our other keepsake ones are in here too. So we have tons of them, but we're not doing a fun tree this year. We did one last year, but this one is looking so pretty. So I'm gonna show it to you guys when we finish it. All right, so we're gonna go outside and look at the Christmas lights that Joel put up, but unfortunately I can't show you guys because it's the front of my house. <laughs> and I don't want the front of my house on the internet. But I have little Riley. She's all bundled up right now. This is a little cute little um, suit that my mom got her from Nordstrom's and she's got her binky. She's also got the hiccups right now. She got a nursing, but I don't think there was any milk coming out of me and I can tell she was getting frustrated. So I luckily, like I always have backup like in the fridge of what I pump. So I gave her a three ounce bottle. She usually takes four ounces, but since she nursed a little bit from me, I only gave her three. But she's okay now. She just has a hiccup. She had a little bit of spit up, but she had a good burp. And we're gonna go look at the lights. Let's go look at our Christmas lights. Yay! All right, so I wanted to end this vlog for you guys. We got the house all decorated. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything. This is what our tree looks like. I do wanna get a new tree topper, but I cannot find a tree topper that I like. So if you guys have any recommendations that will go with a white, silver, red tree, then leave them down below so I can go shopping. <laughs> but this is what the tree looks like. So we got this tree at Home Depot and I really like it because I really wanted a flocked one and then also comes with these little acorns right here. But these ornaments are so beautiful. We got them from the Christmas store. I think it was called what? Christmas lights or city? Oh, city lights. It's a year round like opened Christmas store, which is really cool. And they also have like a whole Halloween section. But this is how the tree looks. It is so pretty. This is also the little ornament that my mom got her. The baby's first Christmas one, which is so cute. It turned out so pretty. We also have Hedwig right here. And then we got the Cardinal, which he calls Fred. This is Fred. And then uh, this is our ornament that we got from our photographer for our wedding right here. Oh, 
it feels like it was so long ago. And then that it, this is the other Hallmark ornament and we had um, Riley's ultrasound picture put into it. But yeah, this is the tree. It turned out so pretty. Don't mind my mess over there. I'm getting ready to just edit and everything right there and spend the day watching Christmas movies because it is also raining. But this is the whole tree right here. We have some gifts which go with Riley's advent calendar that she's gonna be opening up on the first of every month. So you guys will see that in our vlogs for Vlogmas. But yeah, so this is the overlook of it. Then I'll also show you what we did over here. These right here are actually her Christmas cards I had made. I wanna put one in a frame. So they're really cute. And then this is the back of them. So I had these made and I already sent them out. So I have two right here that I want to put into her baby album and then I want to frame that one. But this is the advent calendar that my mom got her and when you open it up, some of the items wouldn't fit inside because as you can see, they're smaller. So, ah, stop, <laughs> you tickled me. Since the items are bigger than the boxes, she wrapped them up and she's putting numbers to them. So when we pull out a number, and it doesn't have an item in it, but it has a number. Then we go to the tree and we open up that. So we're going to start that as being our new tradition. Then we have these. I got those at Target last year. Same thing with the stockings. I need to get stockings made for us, to be honest. I need to do some custom stockings. And then this isn't turned on right here, but we find the... There it is. So this I actually had when I was growing up and my mom gave it to me. Joel and I, I think we're going to start a new tradition where we're going to go to that store and we're going to pick out a new piece and we're going to add to it each year, which would be a really fun tradition. Then Riley can like start picking them out too. So yeah, I have each of those on each side. And then this is another stocking that I've just had over the years. I think I got that for us when we were living in Irvine, like before we were even married. And then I got all this stuff at, um at Michael's and then I put these little flowers in there so these were separate flowers that I just attached in there and they didn't have enough so I can't go all the way down but eventually I'm gonna start adding more to this but this year is so hard with Riley that I can't really like leave the house for a long period of time and go shopping so we're gonna up it all next year and then this is also our little we're snowman we're gonna like fix this all up next year get like new stuff update it and then I told him that we have yeah, to what this is. no but we also have to add to the village we should have done that this year too we should have started that tradition this year even though it's not like December yet so we can still go do it mm -hmm. <laughs> but then we have the snowman which he also lights up but he's not lighting up right now and so this is kind of like all that we have going on oh yeah also I have this right here I have this that used to go on the center of my table, but I have another thing there now. And then this goes up the, what's this called, the banister? Yes. Banister. And then, oh, this is little Riley's little section down here. So I told you guys, like, this thing is awesome. It's the Four Moms Play Yard. I love it. It's so practical, lightweight, and I really love these edges because then I don't have to worry too much about her and while I'm changing her because she's just so wiggly. She's so wiggly. And then this is a little bassinet part where she comes and takes some naps sometimes. I have her bunting right here because whenever we go out into the cold, she has this, which is perfect. Oh, I didn't even realize that this covered the hands. Why did I think it didn't cover the hands? Oh my goodness. Well, that was life changing right there. And then we have her diaper pill downstairs. We have a diaper pill upstairs and a diaper pill downstairs. The one that we have upstairs is the Ubi. This one is the Diaper Genie, I think. This one is way better. Don't get the Ubi, get this one. That's what Joel says. He hates the one upstairs. He loves this one though. So, and then also it, when she gets bigger, this will turn into bigger, but oh, this is also an attachment to it. This is a diaper caddy. So this is where we have everything like at with her diapers and all that. I hate the honest diapers. I hate the fact that they don't tell me if she's peed in them. Like I can do like a quick check and like I just like, you know, undo one button and I can check to see, okay, does she need a diaper change? I can't do that with that, with those. They're horrible. And they make her poop slosh around. Like it doesn't catch her poop and she just like kind of like swaloshes in her poop. I just don't like them at all. I prefer the Pampers. So yeah, but we also have the wipes and then hand sanitizer here. We have two hand sanitizers and some diaper rash cream this she can't use it until like three months and then also her nail stuff so a thermometer too just to 
have that there. But this is our station downstairs, so that way I don't have to carry too much. But I just also want to show you guys that. And then this is my little bin that comes upstairs with me and um, downstairs with me, depending on wherever I am with her. So I have this little thing with my nipple shield that I clean. Oh, I'll also stay away. And it has some passies in there too. My liquid gold, because I take this three times a day. We have our gripe water, which a lot of people in my last video was talking about, try gripe water. I'm like, did I not say that in the video? I had said this so many times that we do gripe water, you guys. She loves it. She was actually, it was really cute. One day, she was really fussy because she had a definite growth spurt. So the next day, she was so much more alert, so much more aware. Well, I went to give her the gripe water at the end of the day to kind of soothe her because I give her one that has chamomile and it's at nighttime. So that one, has, it's for the only the nighttime and they can't use it until they're a month. This one, they can use at two weeks, but that one they can't use until a month because that one has chamomile in it. And that's what she used, that's what I give her at night if I could tell that she's having a hard time going down. I don't always use it, but if she's having a hard time going down, I use that one and she loves it. So she saw it and she saw me going near her with the dropper and she started shaking like excited and then she opened up her mouth and lunged at the syringe. It was the cutest thing and it was so like, it was just like wow, that was a legit milestone that she was able to fixate on that and she knew what was coming. So that was really cool. But I also have um, her nose Frida in here because I'm constantly cleaning out her boogies. I have my hand sanitizer. I have, these are her probiotic drops that I give her with vitamin D. Um, I switch off. Those ones I kind of like, but I don't like the fact that I have a dropper. It's just so much more work with those ones. This one over here that i use been using, where is that one? Here, uh, I have mittens, I have her saline that goes with this. So you put this in her nose and then you suck them out with this. And then I also have her little like nose picky thingy. And then these are my um, wipes for the passies and I also use them for my nipple shields because they just make it really easy for me to do a quick clean right after I feed her. And then these are the gas relief ones. These are the little remedies gas relief. Um, this is my night guard. <laughs> Uh, where is that one? Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. So this is the other probiotics that I give her. So this also has the vitamin D in it, and I just put this on her passy, and then she takes it, and this is what she gets once a day. Um, and then I love this cream. This is what I use on her at night, and also after her baths, I give her massages to help with her tummy. And this is just a really nice cream. I also use the shampoo and body wash of the same kind as well. And it works really, really well. So we've been doing that. We also have a little sucker, which we don't really use anymore. Um, but yeah, the grass relief drops really don't help her at all. It's the gripe water that does the best a job. The gas relief does nothing. Um, gripe water actually works. So that's what works for her. We've been doing those. But I've noticed her stomach hasn't been as bad as it used to. I've noticed like these past two days, she's actually been a lot better. Um, she's over there in her dog tot, so I need to go and sit with her and keep an eye on her because I think she's going to wake up here any minute and want to eat. But this is just a quick little overview of what we do. Um, you guys will probably see it throughout Vlogmas, like our little routines, little bin goes everywhere with me. I bring them my, it has all my little tricks and everything that I need for her that will help soothe her. So yeah, my hair is crazy right now. Like look at these little hairs. Like I need to get my hair done so bad. It is so dark on the roots. It's so, it's like, I'm happy that it's grown out because that means my hair is finally growing. You guys, my hair was not growing the whole pregnancy and now it is finally growing. So, and it feels so much better too. So I'm just really trying to give, give it a break. I don't really want to go and get it done right now because it will take me five hours to get my hair done and that's really hard to leave her for five hours like that i would be pumping there or i would have to bring her a nurse herb in between so it would just be a nightmare to do right now so you know what i'm taking the hit and i'm just dealing with my hair with how it is i'm trying to use lots of purple shampoo because it is getting a little brassy and i'm noticing it in videos but sorry spending time with my baby and making sure that she's fed and not Doing all that is more important than getting my hair done right now. <laughs> I will probably finally go, maybe like January, I will finally go and get it done. And I'll have my mom help me out. But yeah, that's the um, little thing here. 
Um, I just want to end off the vlog and kind of show you guys like a little Christmas decorating that we did. We didn't do a whole lot. We definitely have to add more stuff, but we will do that when she gets a little bit older and she can like do it with us and help us pick out the stuff that she likes and we can decorate it with her, which will be really fun. I'm really excited. I was so happy that she was due before Halloween because I'm like, oh my gosh, we have so many holidays with her. Like we have Halloween, we have Thanksgiving, we have Christmas, New Year's, and it's so exciting. So we just get hit with all the holidays and then we have Valentine's Day. So cute, but yeah, I'm so excited for the holidays with her and Christmas with her. But I want to end out this vlog and I hope that you guys are all having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog.